<clears throat> I'm, I'm like, I'm low key like nervous to record this video. Like, I'm so hyped to record this video. Not the gameplay, but you know, like, you know you're gonna, you gotta have some gameplay in the background. I found another bin that's smaller than the other one, so it makes it less back breaky. But anyways, uh, today's video, if you saw yesterday's video, it kind of explains what today's video is about. As you can see, I record, I keep, as soon as I keep recording later than I normally do, I was playing Borderlands, so I was like doing a boss thing, so like, I was kind of like early into it. But today's video, we're going to be talking about the prequel. So, basically, what is going down in the prequel? So, chapter 3 just came out and everything, and like, I'm really hyped, so... This video will contain spoilers, I'm gonna put that out now. So we got us some questions we're gonna answer. This video does contain spoilers. So, just still a little heads up, this video does contain spoilers. I'm not great to focus. There we go, it focus. Uh, but, uh, basically, <laughs> I have a few questions to answer. I'm afraid to start off with follow me, it's when you follow me tweet. A potential anime slash game. Could be Loki kinda hard. Could be Loki kinda hard, because I have because I have it like the my cash the cash and everything, so I can play. Without like touching the screen and everything. But uh basically. <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked, like I keep trying to think, uh so, chapter one, chapter one, which was kind of like a debut. Uh, so, first I'm going to cover my favorite character, Jack. Jack is my favorite character. Jack is just my favorite character, okay? But, uh, his character development, let's, let's talk about that first. Then we'll, like, get into the nitty gritty stuff. Bas basically, uh, Jack's the type of character where I'm terrible at multitasking. I'm good, but terrible at the same time. Jack is one of those characters, like, you hate, but you love. He, he kind of gives me Kaz... Uh, not Kazuichi, uh... Kokichi vibes. Why are the names so similar? But, like, you want to hate him, but you can't. That's how I feel about... That's how I feel about Kokichi and Ankito. But... <laughs> but, you know. Uh, Jack has some very interesting nicknames for Zarina, such as, uh... Princess, short stack, and uh, my favorite, uh, bitchlet. That's that's a nice one. So, yeah, and uh, chapter three, chapter three, I was like really happy for because uh, with chapter one, I wanted to kind of be based out. I want chapter one to kind of be like an introduction to the characters, not really focus on anything in particular. Just it was literally just the introduction. So no, we had that out of the way. Then chapter two, I what I wanted to do was like was like the story kind of will key revolves around Zarina and Jack. It kind of does, and um, so it's kind of like that. Oh, I got that. So it does kind of revolve around them, but like there are other main characters. And what I, what I'm doing is like one chapter is focused on Zarina, the next one focused on Jack, and it kind of flip flop flip flops from there. And, from there, which is Loki, which is which I kind of like, and uh, so that's that's real. It's fun to write. It is fun. And then chapter three so far is my favorite because with chapter three, here's where it gets into spoiler territory. With chapter three, where'd my horse go? I don't even know where. Oh, there you are. With chapter three, it kind of went. Uh, it started off, you know, the usual and everything, and it kind of dug more deep into Zarina as a character, to be honest. Uh, it kind of dug more into Zarina as a character, and like, why she actually she is, because I know that she kind of comes across as stuck up, in a sense. She comes across as stuck up, uh, goody two-shoes, um, she, she's pretty rule-driven, she likes to stick by the rules. But, uh, in reality, she's not that type of person. She acts how 
she's raised act, how she thinks she should act, not how she is as a person. When, whereas around her family, around her friends, she still kind of keeps that kind of persona, but she's more loose, she's more laid back, she kind of, she's more joking. And she, and it's kind of come across, it's kind of been pointed out, again, this is a point the territory where she doesn't, okay, where Jack doesn't actually hate her, and they're, and they have more of a love-hate sort of relationship, Jack doesn't actually, oh god, it's leather. Jack doesn't actually hate her, and to be honest, <laughs> he more so just likes to get under skin, just likes to sort of annoy her more than anything. Like he, he thinks she, she, he really thinks that she just needs to learn to have more fun, learn how to loosen up, learn how to, you know, chill. Like in a way, they're kind of polar opposites. Like I feel like the reason they kind of work is because he kind of teaches her how to let loose, how to have a fun, and she teaches him that he, she teaches him that rules are kind of there for a reason and you and it's okay to have fun every now and then but there are times where you should just do as you're told abide by the rules abide by the rules but she's okay it's kind of like fair game Oh crap, crap. But uh yeah, and then with uh, the whole I'm gonna pause real quick just so I can, can spread the way because I keep getting checked. So the whole thing with like the whole argument at the end between Serena and Chloe was kind of the phone call that she was on kind of played into that, you know. It may, I made the phone call seem like it wasn't important and that it was kind of pulled out of nowhere for the sake of the plot. Just sort of see because and the whole reason Chloe got so mad about it is because Chloe feels like she's seen rather than as a person more as a freaking sister's shadow. But she's kind of pointed out when she said, like, not, not like her parents actually care about her. But she feels like they take her rather as, oh, you're her twin sister rather than who she is as a person. Which really gets under her skin and she comes like she doesn't care but it really does bother her. And Monica's you know, kind of like the quirky best friend. She's the fashionista. She loves shopping. And she's kind of there to make sure Zerna doesn't kill herself. <laughs> not li- not a literal sense, more like... More like to make sure that Zerna actually loosens up, has fun, and enjoys her high school life. She's just, you know, the best friend that wants to make sure that her friend's okay and happy. And the whole thing with Jack kind of shows that Jack isn't just this arrogant douchebag who doesn't care about anybody but himself. It actually shows that he does have a caring side. He does care about the people close to him. He doesn't really get along with his family very, very well. The only person his family really gets along with is his little sister. And, I, and if you haven't read it before, um, I haven't pointed this out, so like, this is... I, I don't know if I've said this before. I'm, I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it because I haven't like put it in the story yet. I was gonna say something, but I'm like, should I say it? No, 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 I'm not gonna say it because it might, it might be a shock to some people. But if you pay close enough attention, I feel like in the setup it's pretty obvious, but I'm not gonna say it. So that's it. And then, now, next segment potential anime. So, if you know what Ruby is, Okay, if you know what Ruby is, and then the stuff was made by an animation company, okay? Okay, and if you're following me, and if you're watching this video, you can probably follow me on YouTube. If not, 90% of my uh, viewers, 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. If you're part of the 90% of my hit the subscribe button and bring it up from 3 0 of people that actually subscribe. Okay? Like, 100, 100k of you can just hit that subscribe button, and it would be, it would be awesome. But anyways... Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I, I'm getting a laptop next month, next month between the 8th and 14th, which I'm really excited for, and it has, like, 8 gigabytes of RAM and everything, good enough for, like, ed- animation stuff to run and everything, which is wonderful! Okay, I, I've had this post long enough, which is 
pretty good. Which is, uh, pretty good. Yeah. And I want to make an animation. I've got to make an animation for it. I've, I've seen tutorials and everything. There's this one playlist and everything that I added on my channel. Like, of this guy and he and his uh, tutorial is actually pretty good. L L L L L L L L L L L L L please 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 No crap But uh Yeah I wanna make an animation and potential game I'm taking a coding class right now so I do know a bit of the basics I do know a bit of the basics but I do want to turn into a game. I'm also working on another game which is Hush Hush. So two games I'm working on but one of them is Hush Hush and another one is about the Novel. I, you know, I'm getting voice actors for all the characters and everything, which is pretty good. It's my last year of high school, which so which means I can focus on my on, the, on my channel. And I'm getting a job, which I'm, I hope to hear back from the voice I applied uh, next week. You know, I, I it's all cool with Hill man. But I'm graduate, I'm moving to California for college. Because the, co the college I went to got to is in California, so I'm like, so I gotta move there. Which I'm really happy about. I'm in the process of getting my dog to be a service dog, so that way, so, because, um, with the disabilities that I do have, I can apply for him to be a service dog. He just had to go through the training, and that way, when I do go to college, they can't deny me him, and I would be able to either A, A, have him in my dorm, or B, get my own apartment, even though I'm a freshman, since, you know, He's my he's a service dog or whatever. Which which will be pretty good. Which will be awesome. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Uh Steph, I'll never see him again. Oh no. You go on enemy of my map. Yep, I knew it was gonna be a Yiga clan. Oh basic bitch. Oh god. Let's deal with her. Oh shiz! I'm trying not- I'm trying to talk about something very important here. Can you not? Can you not? You basic bitch. You basic bitch. Stop. Ho. Mifa, you're a blessing and I love you. Get out. No one loves you. No one will ever love you. Your master hated your guts. Get out of here. But before I was so rudely interrupted, as I was simply trying to say before. Uh, so that's coming out. Okay, okay. So that's all wonderful. Now let's talk about the character development for Jake. I know Jake has only been in the chapter for one episode, but he is coming back very shortly, probably in chapter four or five. He'll be back, and there will be a lot more revolving around him, and he will be a lot more important to the story. Okay? I guarantee he's going to be a lot more important to the story than he actually is right now. I set up the whole him going out of town for a very specific reason. Trust me, he will be back shortly because I did I did want to progress the story a lot faster than it was going before because I felt it was going a bit too slow so I did skip ahead of a lot of things I did want to plan in because I felt they weren't as important as like kind of like chugging this train along and kind of keeping it up to pace like the first two episodes were kind of like introductions kind of like getting you into the characters and everything but uh, now it's full pace on the story, and it's also not gonna end how you think. I guarantee you, this gonna it's gonna have a crazy twist, which is gonna play into the pre the sequel, which I know you guys will absolutely love. Which I can't wait. And if you haven't read it, you can if you go to the channel Discord, you can click the links there. But I post it on Amino and Wattpad. You can follow me on Wattpad in the description below. Hey, I want the black voice. Which will be pretty awesome. If you did so, you can follow me on all the on all the links and everything below. But uh, let me think. What else? What else do I need to discuss in this video? Uh, the chapters. <sighs> what? Well, let me think. I'm trying to think. What haven't I brought up that needs to be brought up? Ah, mm, uh, yes, 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 yes. So the thing with um. So I try to brush this when when uh, the character when Zoe oh not Zoe 
Ah, pretty cool. Single in the brain. When Chloe or Sabrina say father, they're referring to their stepfather. To the stepfather, and when they say dad, they're referring to their biological father. And I'm not gonna say anything else other than that, because I think it's gonna spoil a lot of crap that has not been official yet. So yeah, when they say father, they're referring to their stepfather, when they say dad, they're referring to their actual dad. There. And uh, I should probably address who Masaomi and Lyra are. Or you probably have no idea. Masaomi is the oldest. Masaomi is their older brother, is their older brother. Whereas Lyra is their older sister. Like, they are they are the youngest of the bunch. Chloe is younger than Zarina because they're identical twins, but Zarina was born first. So, that, that that's explaining that. Yeah, so just just so you know. But uh, that co- that's that covered. <laughs> now, if you give me a moment, I have to check my notes to see what else I need to discuss. So uh, I'm gonna have to merge this together. BRP. I uh, need to talk about their abilities, the abilities that have been discussed so far. So they're identical twins, but the okay. So here's the little, here's the lore. Lore, basically, they're identical twins. Yes, they are identical twi- twins. Which, you know, has been established. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot how to play the skin for a second. I've been playing a lot of Borderlands, and the controls are different. But uh, yeah, so they're identical twins, but twins ability. Zerina's ability hasn't really been talked about yet. You will... Okay, another thing. Everyone that has an ability can use magic. Everyone that has an ability. But, but the reason they're really is because they all have, like, special things. Like, for instance, Chloe is a demon. She's the only one whose ability has been talked about right now. Monica... Just looking at her, you can kind of tell what her ability is. But we're playing that whole uh, plot devices where... You know, that whole superhero logic where even though they look the exact same for some reason people don't know, we're going by that logic. Thank you. Zarina's ability will be talked about next chapter and then a few chapters later. Jake's ability won't Jake's ability won't be as important to the story to like later on, so his ability won't be talked about later. So in order whose ability will be talked about first. Koei has been talked about, then it'll be Zarina. Then Jack. Then Monica. I still have to figure out how we're gonna discuss hers, and then it will be Jake. Okay, and uh, all I'm gonna say is Jake's ability is extremely rare, as in it's thought to have been extinct. That's all I'm gonna say is his ability is very rare. I do not mean to get off. So, that's all I'm gonna say right now. And... Jack's is also extremely unique. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, okay. And Zarin's ability is common, but hers is more is more of an amplified version. Also, because this isn't also I'm gonna say something, it's not much of a spoiler. It just it's just because they're identical twins, they both have the ability to shapeshift. I right, made that a thing just for the purpose of a few like skits I want to do there in the each other. I think will be kind of fun. So uh, yeah, they can both save it. But that's what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say what Zerina's ability is yet. I feel like uh, her ability is. I'm gonna give a hint. I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm gonna say is if you know if you know about uh, basic anime tropes and. Uh, Anime fetishes, but all I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say. After that, uh, you t- oh, you guys are the best. After that, you can just figure it out, bro. So, let's figure it out from there. But, uh, what else are you talking about? Uh, personalities. I don't think I fully discussed, uh, the. Okay, so, if we can talk about their outfits. Zarina is more, she prefers to be more proper, you know, she abides by the rules, she's kind of that character, and you know, the Kudin Sinade joke was, 
kind of poking fun at slice of life. It was kind of poking fun at slice of life. But uh, yeah, that was the whole thing with that. So make sure it's focused. And uh, so that was that was that was about. And uh, let me think. Jake's personality. If you, I, you, I doubt you'll be able to tell, but he will be back very soon, and we'll start to develop his personality more. Sorry, but he kind of has this arrogant rich boy kind of vibe. It's pretty much like the base, like the stereotypical arrogant rich boy. Arrogant, entitled rich boy. It's kind of his trope. Where and Jack is kind of like his uh, carefree. Jack is kind of like the carefree loner, kind of bad boy kind of character. He, he likes to get in trouble, whereas Zuni doesn't. He's kind of that arrogant bad boy. He's, he's not. He is kind of arrogant. He's a street kid in a sense. He's pretty much like a street kid. He's a loner. He likes to get in trouble. He just likes to get on people's skin. He's a sarcastic joker. Hey. Favorite character. Jake is actually my least favorite character. I, I don't know. I don't really like him that much. But he's important to the story, so he has to say. <coughs> you know, it's bad when you don't like your own character. Also, I, I just fell in the room. I'm, I'm 100% for sure people are going to ship uh, Chloe and Serena. I feel like last chapter I may have accidentally set it up that way. It was supposed to be just a caring sister sort of thing. But I know, but I know people nasty. I know what I was trying to get food. Uh, da, 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 not food. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, what else do I need to discuss? I also need to discuss. Uh... Oh, so uh, like uh... <laughs> one second. I just need to discuss. I I need to look. Okay. I'm back. So this is a dystopian. World, you can't really see my heart or anything, but uh, this is indeed a dystopian world. Like, like having an ability is illegal because the whole premise. Okay. Okay. First, I'm gonna say this. So basically, each character is based on a problem within society. I don't want to be one of those people, but yes, each character that is in the novel, in the anime, is based on a problem within society. A serious thing. Monica represents the beauty standards that are forced onto women. To be skinny, have big breasts, a big ass, you know, makeup perfectly done, hair done, you know, to be have extremely pale skin, you know, the basic beauty standards that are forced onto women. On women. Okay? <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think again. I'm trying to think again. I, I know, I know. Give, give me a moment. And uh, Jake. Okay, I'm pretty sure what I had originally in him. So he's kind of like that character. He's kind of that person where it's like kind of like judging a book off, his, off, off the character. He's kind of like one of those people where you judge them based on who their parents are, how much money they have. Kind of like those characters, people that you just judge without knowing. He, and it's kind of the same with Jack, except Jack is is the problem within society that Jack is based off of is your typical run-of-the-mill delinquent where teen- where all teenagers are bad or whatever and, you know, have a problem within society and, you know, the pla- classic playboy thing and where he's just a bad guy. When in reality, he's not so much of a bad guy. You know, it's I'm trying to think of what I off the spot because like my brain is fried because I'm so like oh I want this video to be good <laughs> I'm trying to think man oh dang it I didn't mean to do that oh crap oh well but uh so not you know what Monica's based off of okay Brittany Brittany's a whore simple as that Brittany's a whore She's a slut. She's a skank. Yeah, pretty simple. Uh, Jason. Jason's original name was gonna be Dason, but I figured that name was actually kind of stupid. I wanted his name to be unique. I'm like, ah, 
Jason actually sounds pretty dope. Jason, trash. Let's not do that. Someone's name is Jason now. Jason the toy maker, is that you? What up? Yeah. So I just wanted it to I am trying to I'm gonna have to do some more thinking. I'll probably make a follow up video to this one check before it comes out. I'm trying to remember what I made the characters based off of. I remember what Monica was based off of because like you can tell what she's based off solely based on how she looks. Oh, I personally made Zarina based off of expectations being forced onto you that you can't exactly you can't when people force expectations onto someone that they can't exactly uphold they can't exactly uphold something and you expect so much so much like social media influencers you expect so much for example youtubers yes youtubers you expect so much out of them but most but sometimes they can't deliver that and then you automatically get like rioted you get canceled and that's like if you do anything wrong, you're on my please. She's kind of... I'm trying to think of how to explain it. She's... Kind of like... Uh, how do I explain this? She's that character that... She pretends... She, she kind of pretends to be what she thinks she's expected to be. When you pretend to be someone you're not, just to people... Just to be what people expect you to be. And in that sense, and Chloe, Chloe's like, like the stand, the punk rock sort of emo standard or whatever. You know, the standard, like she's kind of seen as being in the shadows. She's perceived as because of the way she dresses and her makeup. She's just being violent or out of control or rebel or whatever. She has always lived in her sister's kind of like shadow. She's always lived in her sister's shadow. Like she, she's not too happy about it. She wants to be her own person. And she does everything she can to be her own person. She dyed her hair. She, she dyed her hair. She even cut it short. <laughs> she wears blue contact lenses. She changes her makeup, her dress, everything that she can do to make to separate herself from her sister. She doesn't want to just be seen as Zarina's sister or be in her shadow. It's really important. Like it's an it's a dystopia. It's a dystopia sort of thing. Of course of course it's gotta be in it. <laughs> Jack is still my favorite. He he's my boy, my buddy boy. But uh yeah, he's my favorite character. I'm trying to think what else should I discuss in this video. Oh, uh, so, I really want to, I really, so if I do make the anime, I'm probably gonna post it on the channel or whatever, uh, and, uh, I always restrict these videos, it will, I'm trying to think, I might actually not age restrict, uh, no, I'll probably age restrict it, anything that has to do with, like, my novel or, or whatever, it will probably be age restricted. The prequel is a lot more graphic and a lot more and a lot more down to the nitty gritty talking about the problems with the society than the sequel is. The sequel is more kind of like Ruby than the prequel is, where the prequel talks about all the problems with the society, kind of gets down to the nitty in the nitty gritty. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at so far. And as I said before, I, I don't want to skip for so repetitive, whatever. As I said before, the prequel is... I think I've pretty much discussed everything I can. The prequel is... So far, the chapter 3 is my favorite one so far. 
You know, Jack is the roasting king. Oh, I finally remember what, J- what Jack was about. Thank God I did not end this yet. Jack is an alcoholic. <laughs> he's a high school student, and he's an alcoholic. That's kind of what he represents. It's kind of on the nose. Alcohol abuse. That's kind of what he represented. Alcohol abuse. I remembered, man. It's like trying to think. Uh, yeah. So chapter four kind of skims over that, and I feel like either chapter five or six is probably gonna talk more into that about why he's an alcoholic, because it's a lot more complex than it seems. I mean, it's similar to why most people are alcoholics. It's similar, but it's a little bit twist. Yeah, he's an alcoholic. So, kind of explains that. Go ahead and end it right there. It's like, ah, I'm trying to think of what they represented again. But yeah, Jack is an alcoholic. He has a pet snake. Her name is Lucy. She's an albino. He's kind of white snake. He always keeps a flask in his free pocket. And, uh, all the characters kind of- Zerina- Zerina was actually based off of Blake Belladonna. I mean, they do share the same last name. Chloe was based off of myself. Uh. And, uh, Jake? Well, let me think. Jake actually- I don't think Jake actually originally existed. I think I made him kind of, like, last minute for plot convenience? Or was it Jack that didn't exist? I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't exist at once, but, you know, then he started... But then I was like, oh, let's make him. You see how creative I was with their names, though. You know, Jack, Jackie, and Jake. Oh, Jason. Apparently, I just keep naming everyone Jay. <laughs> you know, like, I'm Gay Station. Literally change one letter in his name and it just becomes I'm Gay Station. I swear someone out there has to have, has to have that as as their username. If you do not, what is wrong with you? Uh. So that's basically what he's ba- what he is. Oh, Chloe also. I don't think Chloe also returns. No, no, no. Jake and Jack were. Oh. Uh, yeah. Jake is the one that didn't originally exist. Yeah. I don't think Chloe did either. Yeah, Chloe originally didn't exist. Originally, it was just gonna be a, like a split personality thing that Serena had. But no, no. I decided to change that. <sighs> and Jake the one that didn't really exist because Jack, if you know his name, is Jack Frost. I didn't even bother to change his name. He is basically Jack Frost from the Guardian. I didn't even bother to change his name. Yeah. Okay? It's pretty obvious. Okay? Let me have it. That's pretty obvious, and now it's pretty obvious to read both of as well. But anyways, yeah, that was, that was, that was, yeah. Probably after I'm done with this video, I'm probably either I'm gonna edit it, uh, then have it hopefully up by, let me see what time it is now. Huh? Well, this video should be out by 9. I usually try to get my videos up between 8 and 9. Like, if it's not up by 9, then I just won't post. I will not upload anything later than 10. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jump, jump. <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. Whoa. But I, so far, I'm, like, really liking how the novel is coming out. It's, so far, pretty, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys are checking it, checking it out. That would mean so much to, to me if you guys just, you know, we just subscribe. Come on, you know you wanna, you know you wanna do it. You gotta do it to them. You gotta do it to them. Oh, damn it! Ran out of gale. behind yourself. But, uh, yeah. I know this video was kind of, like, like that. It was exciting. It was, like, 
being able to see, but like, I'm really excited to talk about this stuff with you guys. I think that it would be really cool. I need to take a thumbnail, so, uh... So, let's just press the camera button. But, uh, yeah. I think the now is coming out really great. I can't wait to check the 4 and 5. I already know how chapter 4 is gonna go. No spoilers, no spoilers. Chapter 5, I'm still, ba still thinking about. I'm also working on Crossbow's backstory and everything. And, uh, when I get the laptop, I've already made an AMV for Zarina. I'm gonna make one for Chloe. And then Monica is gonna get the art, the reference art for, uh, Jack. That'll be as well. And then Jake will be la- Then Jake and- No, Jackie. I wanna do Jackie as well. Then Jake and what's the note that. I'm probably gonna ask the artist that- Mew, the person, uh, that does, uh, Mihiko, whatever the- <laughs> Yeah, whatever you pronounce their username on Instagram and Twitter. I will link their Instagram and Twitter up below. And, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, they do my art and everything. I'm probably gonna ask them to do, like, one big collab of, of, uh, the, the main characters. You know, wearing their school uniforms. Which, they're, how the way the uniforms tied it depicted for personality. Okay? Jack's uniform would be kind of messy. His tie would be loose. His collar would, his, a few... The uh, top, top three buttons would be unbuttoned, his collar would, would be popped, pop, and, he wouldn't be, and he'd have the jacket on, but it wouldn't be buttoned up at all, and he would have his shirt out, it wouldn't be tucked in, where's Jake, he'd be wearing a watch, his shirt would be tucked in, he'd be tied to me, he wouldn't be wearing the jacket at all, he's tied to me, folded, and his collar would be folded, Chloe, Chloe, her shirt wouldn't be tucked in at all. She, she wouldn't be wearing the tie. Her buttons wouldn't be tucked her buttons would be buttoned. And her, and she wouldn't be wearing the stockings. And her shirt would just be out. Monica, everything would be neat. Everything would be pressed. Her skirt, her shirt would be tucked in. Her skirt would be nice. It would fit her body exactly. Uh, you know, she would be wearing the tie. And Zarina, her shirt would be tucked in. Everything would be nice. Nice. It would kind of be like, it would be similar. Her, her thing would be perfect, and she'd be wearing her glasses. <laughs> so, oh, can't wait for that. I'm so hyped. I can't wait to, like, work, start working on an animation and everything. And I know that there's a way that you can turn 3D models and make them look 2D, which is what I'm going to do. Which I can't wait for. It should be pretty awesome to do. I, I, I don't know why I keep talking. This I'm trying to think of what else I could talk about. Like, character development wise. Like, is there... I know it's coming off as, like, the genre. It's kind of like an action. It's an action comedy slice of life. Mixed in with that little aspect of horror that will be coming later. Psychological horror. Because, you know... I'm, I'm a huge psychological horror nerd. I'm a huge horror nerd, and my favorite type of horror is psychological horror. So, you know, I gotta sprinkle in just a batch of psychological horror. Which we all know is amazing! So good for that. I'm even wearing my Isaac Foster shirt right now with a flannel on top. Which I can't wait for. I don't even know if I should talk to you, boy. Oh, I forgot. It's out of gas. Wonderful. You do that. They want me to shoot with an arrow. Did the link just turn around? Oh, was that a bomb arrow as well? What was the shooting bomb arrows at these people? Bruh. <laughs> but I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. I really can't wait because the reason I was like so inspired because there's like this Ruby fan made thing and everything. It was brilliant. Like I'm really excited to bring this. I cannot wait for this stuff to get here. First first thing I do when I get it, I'm gonna plug that baby in. Plug that 
feel like I've swore too many times in this video. I've kind of decided to take a new route with the channel and uh, not censor myself. I don't swear that often anyways, like, like at all. Like the only times you will ever hear me swear is if I'm playing games, listening to music, and singing the song, or if I'm angry. Those are the only times you will ever hear me swear, but I don't really swear often. It's just not how I was raised. In fact, how I was raised was that anyone that swore had a small IQ and uh, terrible vocabulary, so you can see that my mental has kind of changed from that. Because she was very angry, which pretty much how it was. Mm. And even in person, which is why I hate myself for this. Like, like, I am smart, I am not dumb, don't you do this! I was like, eh, what you gonna do about it? Nothing. People are gonna swear if they want to, so. What's the point of doing crap about it? So, yeah. That's just how I feel about the situation. But, uh, yeah, that's basically everything. You guys are pretty caught up with the novel. If you are, then that's wonderful. If you're not, then you shouldn't be watching this video at all. And I even read it on the channel. My guy, go like, what are you doing with your life? Ah, oh, you should be reading my novel. That's what. Oh. Like, I've, ha I've actually had this idea, this concept and everything since I was 10, to be honest. So, seven years later, well, well, I started writing when I was 16. So, technically six years later, finally brought this bitch to life. Finally brought this baby to life, and I'm, like, so happy for it. You can kind of tell that I'm testing out whether or not I want to swear on this channel or not. <laughs> because I, I keep, like, hesitantly saying word, saying swears, just, just to see how I feel about swearing on the channel. And, uh, yeah. Just to see how I feel about it. But, uh, and it's changed a lot since when I first had, like, eventually, like, at first it was just going to be, like, a love slice of life sort of thing. That's where we how it was going to be. It wasn't gonna be like this whole dystopian arc sort of, sort of crap. See, I'm still a bit weird swearing on the channel, man. But, uh, it's. <sighs> it was worse if gonna be like that. You feel like I'm swearing more on the channel than I do in real life. Wow. Uh, it was gonna be like, uh, one of, one of that sort of stuff. It was just gonna be like a romance sort of thing. I've changed a lot of things since then. Like, a lot. <laughs> Like, um, orig originally, Jack, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that, I'm not say it because it would, I feel like it would kind of give away something, so I'm not gonna make Never mind! But it's changed a lot since I was like, I used to just feel like with it myself and everything. And, oh. So the reason that I feel like it, it does have, like, a lot of, like, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, uh, a lot of very heavy subjects in it. That's why I age restrict the videos. Yeah, I just uh, I think it's fun. I I wanted I wanted to write this, and I just don't feel the need for me to make it kid friendly. Okay, if because I don't want to censor any of the topics in it. You know, like kind of. Here's a good example: Beast Stars and Zootopia. Uh, Beast Zootopia is like the child version of Beast Stars. It really is. And then B starts is like, nah, if that, we, we about to get in the knitting gritty. It's pretty much like that. <laughs> it's like, nah. So, just a heads up. Also, in the, in the sequel, I'm going to say this now in the sequel, uh, uh, Chloe is similar to um, um, Shinra. That's all I'm going to say. You don't need to know anything else. Anyways, I think that's going to be the video. I didn't want to make this video kind of long, so... But I hope you guys uh, like the video. Um, I'll try to be a lot more prepared next time I record the video and it won't be so rambly. I, I promise. I promise. But uh, let me let me take care of this this boy right here. Uh, let's get out a weapon. Get my freaking thing broke. Oh, uh, where are you at? Yeah, get out here, mofo. Tomorrow's video. Oh yeah, today, tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's video, I already know what it is. It's something I've been wanting to record for a while. Like, I'm 
made sure not to change anything or anything, but it's a video I don't want to record for. I, I, I know exactly what I'm going to record next week as well. I know exactly what I'm going to record next week as well. Oh my god, I got blurry room. So, yeah. I know exactly what the, the next week here will hold us as well. I'm so good because the laptop won't be here to like <laughs> two to like, I think like one to three weeks after Christmas. Because it's coming between uh, the 8th of January and uh, the uh, 14th. Yeah. But, uh, anyways, sorry, I keep getting so tricked. Anyways, that's, uh, I'm ending the video. Ah! So, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to become part of the Degeneracy MRP. So, if you need. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to and comment on the degeneracy and be a freak. Remember, be yourself, be unique, be a freak. And before you, do, before you go, don't forget about it to a wonderful leader and click on the links below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next one. Zero, setting out. Uh. And remember, kids, link says subscribe once we get to 100k subs. I'll do it if you want me to and do a face reveal Q&A as well. So don't forget to subscribe. Link says so. He'll come to your house and slaughter your family in front of you. Okay, bye bye now. J just so uh, Carter doesn't decide to um come and uh <laughs> get my ass up. That was a joke. I uh, that was a joke. I'm not gonna commit any sort of homicide at all. Just just a fair warning. Uh, okay, uh, okay, but just uh just just so you know, I I promise I'm not. <laughs> it was a joke. Uh, uh, okay.